In this lesson, we'll be getting started with annotations. Okay, so annotations are a great tool to be able to communicate with other artists in your pipeline that are going to be working on some of the same things that you are or doing different parts of the same project. So you can use annotations in a few different ways and you can create them and add them in a few different ways as well. So let's begin by creating an annotation for this clip right here. First, I'm going to come up here and click the annotate tool. And that's going to bring up a little tool palette here to the left. Now the next thing I wanna do is come up here to the little plus sign and you can see that we have a few choices for how we want to add the annotation. Now, if I had just gone in and created an annotation without hitting the plus sign first, that is a possibility. And I wanna show you that this is really one of the more controlled ways to do it, but you don't have to go through this and look through all of these things to add an annotation. So let's just come in here and grab our paintbrush tool and just kind of say, you know, over here, this is where we're gonna add some fire. So I'm gonna come in and grab my text tool and say, add the fire in this clearing. And let's make this a little bit smaller. You can probably just see that, but it's going a little bit out of the recording area. And I'm gonna say, I'll left align that. Okay, so here is the text. I've kind of added that. Okay, so great, we have an annotation. Now, it's kind of hard to see where this is, but I'm gonna zoom in and you can see there's a little line right there. And that is an annotation that has been by default added in my clip. So when you add an annotation based on the clip, it will go inside of that clip. So you can see that's a little line right there. And it's not something that I can select from the sequence view. So I'll show you how to edit or delete that later. Now, I could just hit Control Z and get rid of those pieces where I said add the fire. And it gets rid of the visibility of the annotation, but it doesn't get rid of the annotation itself. Because once you create the annotation, it exists it exists and you really can't go back um, without going to, to this in a special way. So we're gonna talk about that in a moment. Um, and when we do this, it's going to be through a different view of this clip. So the way that we get to this is by right clicking the clip and we are going to go to open in and you're gonna choose timeline view. And here is where we can view this clip almost as if it were a pre-composed layer. And here we have access to that little annotation that was just one frame in one clip. And to actually delete this annotation so that it doesn't show up in the sequence view, we'll need to select the annotation here and hit delete. Now when I go back out to my sequen sequence view, I don't have the little mark indicating that there's an annotation layer inside there. Okay, so now let's talk about a different way we can add annotations and one that I actually find that I like a little bit better. So if you come up to the plus sign, you can choose to get away from this default of clip and change it to sequence. And this is gonna add it a little differently. And here we also have some choices for how we wanna add this. So instead of adding it just in one frame, we can choose current item, in out points, all, custom, um, I'm going to choose all for now just so you can see what that looks like. So we'll go ahead and hit new and you can see now we've added this annotation layer that kind of goes on top of everything. So if I pull this back and kind of move this over here, you can see that this spans all three of my clips. So what if I would have only wanted this to span, you know, maybe a, just a certain amount within this clip? Well, I could just click and drag it like I did just now, or I could add it a little bit differently. So I'm going to show you how to add it a little bit differently, but first let's actually add an annotation to this annotation layer. So I'm just gonna grab my brush and kind of add back in that same bit 
that I had. And I'm just kind of making a little circle there. And we'll grab our text tool again and say, add the fire in this clearing. Okay, and then I can click and move that around. But I can also click and move this around. So you can see if I just click each of those, I have individual control of those annotations. So that's pretty cool. I can change the color of the text after the fact. So let's say maybe I want that to be a little bit less obtrusive. I can make it a little bit gray or I can actually change it to be a color here in the spectrum of colors. Very cool. And that annotation is going to be visible at any point where I'm on top of that annotation layer. Great. Okay, now I'm gonna add another annotation. And I'm just gonna show you that when I go up here and I add another one, it's going to add yet another block of annotation here on this annotation layer. And for this one, I only want it to last the duration of this clip, so I'm just gonna pull that in. And this one, I'm going to kind of draw a little circle on the top of the building here at the beginning. And then I'm going to move towards the end and draw another circle on top of that building and kind of follow that path and say in the text, let's say dragon lands on building on left of clip. Okay, and I can also change the size of this if I want it to just kind of be one big line like that. There we go. So you can kind of see how this looks as we drag through here. Great. Now, I want to set some in and out points because right here, I want to add some really specific things in my annotation. So I'm going to select my clip and I'm going to add an in point here. So I'm going to hit the I key. And then I'm going to come over here and hit the O key to set an out point. So now I've got these in and out points. I'm going to come up here and choose still sequence, but I'm going to choose in slash out points new. And you can see that was added just inside of those areas. So that's a nice tool for being able to define the area without having to drag it after you've created it. And for this one, I'm going to do, let's just do a little bit of a different color just so you can see your studio may have specifics on what kind of color they want to use for things like this. And I'm just going to kind of make this path that has kind of these arrows along it. And we'll add some text that says dragon flies from close in the frame on the left side towards the building far away on the right side. And this color is very hard to read, so let's change it to something easier. And there we go. Okay, so now we've got some really nice annotations helping to direct our VFX here. And I want to add one more annotation to this that I'm just going to add to the whole sequence of this clip. And we'll just come in here and kind of pull that back in. There we go. And I'm going to say add a camera shake as the dragon flies by. Maybe we could actually shorten this a little bit and just have that right in the middle because that's probably about the time that we would want it to shake kind of as the dragon flies by in the middle. Perfect. Okay, so now we've got a lot of annotations added, really making this for easier communication. Now, in our next lesson, we're going to learn how to create a comp. And we'll be learning how these annotations and these grades get added inside of the comps that we create. So stick around, and in the next lesson, we'll be creating comps to work as our Nuke scripts 
throughout the rest of the course.